morning everyone, we're going to do a new hydro tuning video just down at the turbine. We're going to take out this fit in here, this is, it goes from 2 inch down to 1 inch. We're going to um, make a tapered uh, insert to uh, see if we get any better efficiency like that. So I'm going to take that apart and then we'll go in the uh, shed and turn down uh, an insert for it. Well, that was easy, there's our piece. So this is the point, so um, the water's coming around here and it hits this dead stop and has to then go down to this one inch, so we're going to machine a taper that goes in there. Alright, let's do this fairly quick, so I want to get this back working and see if it actually makes any difference. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, drill a hole down the middle with a forstner bit. And this Okay, there's our hole, sort of through the middle. Now we'll turn it down and make it all nice and round, add a taper to it. Okay, we're at the lathe. So I don't actually have a chuck for this lathe. It's not my lathe, I'm just borrowing it. Um, so what I've done is I've mounted it through the middle to a piece of wood, which then can screw into this, um, well, normally what the uh, tool screws into. Right, as suspected, wobbling all over the place, but we'll sort that out. I have actually experimented already with this, and uh, this it does actually work. So let's get, uh, we'll, so we'll face it off to get it um, the right size, and then we'll taper it. Okay, there is the insert. Very pleased with that. It's got a nice shallow taper to it. And we'll go and squeeze that in there in the vise, and that will give us a much nicer transition from big big pipe to small pipe. A little bit of a sneak peek here. We've got a new workbench out in the workshop. You're not gonna see that just yet. It's coming soon. So this uh, insert goes in that way and then we're gonna squeeze it together in the vise put them on there to protect my nice new this wood just trying to get this to squeeze straight squeeze that in there nice tight fit oh, how nice was that right I'm gonna try and get that a bit further in just so there's no at the moment there's a little gap behind it. Okay, there it is. It closes right up, I'm very pleased with that. Let's go fit it, see if we uh, make any gains. Okay, we'll uh, let some water in. Move that out of the way. Maybe we'll clear it a bit. Okay, go to the shed and see if we're uh, making any more power. Okay, I've changed two of them now. Um, this is the first full power test. And as far as I can see, there's no significant change whatsoever. Um, we'll let it stabilise a bit, but really very close to what we were before. If anything, run, reading slightly lower, but it's been off for a while and sometimes that makes it read a little bit lower. So we'll let it stabilise. And, uh, but it doesn't look like that's made any significant difference at all. Okay, good morning everyone, it's the next day. Um, I'm a bit confused here about what's going on because that should have made a difference. Um, I think it's just my collection, my data collection is, is the issue. Um, because it does seem to have made a difference when I just run three nozzles, but it, doesn't, it hasn't made a difference in the top end. So we're going to do this one next. And I'm going to take a lot more uh, data points so we can see more accurately um, what what's changing and what's happening. 
So I'm going to turn off the spear valve, we're going to run that one just on its own, see how much power it produces. And then I'm going to switch everything off in there and let the turbine free spin and we'll measure the free spin voltage of one of the phases. Um, now that is going to be accurate for doing one nozzle. It wouldn't be accurate to do that with all of them on because uh, the amount of water is too much and, it, and the splashing is too much in free spin. Not in loaded but in free spin because all the water is splashing around everywhere. Uh, that it wouldn't give us a very good reading. But on one nozzle it should be fine. Right, so I'm seeing uh, 85 watts off of that one small nozzle just on its own. So I'll check that against some other data I've taken before, see if it's consistent. What are you doing, you big tiger? Are you having a mad five minutes? You are beautiful, aren't you? Alright, let's uh, turn this off. And we can go in here. Alright, need two hands. Right, so now running that at free spin and taking a voltage reading off uh, two of the phases. So we'll let that stabilise and then we'll see what the voltage is. Now the voltage is going to creep up and the reason for that is because it's spinning really fast. It's heating up the bearing a bit more and making it, um, you know, more efficient. And less losses because the grease and stuff's getting hotter. It's spinning faster than normal. So we'll let it build up, take the reading. Oh, it seems to be there now. 76.1. We'll let it stabilise anyway, and then we'll uh, take that reading, and then we'll see if we can improve on it. Okay, that seems to be our reading. It's sat like that for a while. 79.5 is the max we've seen. So we'll see if adding in one of those machined um, inserts. 70, oh, yeah. So 79.5. We'll go with. Yeah, just got another insert machined. Or laid down, it's not machined. The idea if I could machine it on a machinist lathe, but I haven't got one. But yeah, that'll squeeze in there, and then we'll put it back together. Okay, it's back together. We have our insert in there, and uh, yeah, put it back together. See if we get any improvements. Okay, let's go back down and, and fit this part. So I get the impression from the uh, comments that a lot of people think that I'm doing this because the system's not working very well that isn't the case the system is working really well like it turbine efficiency is up over 60 percent um complete system efficiency including after it's charged the batteries and everything we're well over 50 percent and improving that all the time so it's very very it is working very very well i'm just fine tuning it and uh, and the reason for that is because i'm learning from it a lot and in the future i'd like to make turbines custom made turbines and uh I feel like I should know exactly what I'm doing and this whole process is really helping me understand it all. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. It's not because it's not working well, it's working brilliantly. Like it is a really, really, really good system and it, um, it, it supplies all my needs currently. But doing this is just a learning experience for me and of course it makes good educational content. So yeah, let's uh, go and fit this nozzle and uh, uh, this fitting, sorry, and see uh, see if we gain anything. So it's back up and running. And it seems to have actually decreased it a little bit, which is amazing to me. It might just be warming up a bit, so we'll leave it for a bit, but it doesn't seem to have made any difference. If anything, it has decreased it. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have decreased it. See that free spin? Measuring the free spin is not an accurate way of doing it. Um, it just really isn't. You see, we've gained a couple of watts there. It's not a lot. 87 to 89. So we've gained a couple of watts from doing it. Left it for a bit. We're still on the one nozzle. And we're now up at 95 off that nozzle. So that is more like, well, 92 to 95. That is way more what I would expect from doing that change. It does seem to have changed. Oh, uh, back down again flickering around a bit but it's higher it's definitely higher than it was um, so that's pretty good but I don't think it's going to change much at a full um, flow because um, the flow goes down so much because the loss is at full um, but when we're running it at sort of half flow it's most efficient we've made some improvements for sure 
Okay, so I think we, um, I think we gained a couple of watts here and there. Nothing, uh, it definitely wasn't worth doing. Uh, I think the reason for that is if, if we did that in a straight piece of pipe, um, it would have made a difference. But because the water has already tumbled and become turbulent and changed direction a few times, I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. Uh, the maths and stuff said it should have, but that's usually when it's in a straight pipe. You know, when it's going around a corner and then tapering down, it, it, it obviously is not making too much of a difference. I think we've gained a couple of watts in the middle of the efficiency curve, but uh, not really anything at the end. Um, but it was uh, worth doing for educational purposes. Um, like I say, it's still working really well. This is just uh, fine tuning, fiddling. Uh, the biggest gain I'll get is by making this pipe bigger, as we discussed before. But the problem is, is, um, is valves are the issue. So the biggest ball valve I can get for this kind of pipe is 63 mil. After that, I have to get a gate valve or a um, or a butterfly valve. And if I do that, there's going to be losses involved in them. Um, so yeah, I can go from 60 odd mil. Yeah, it, the the losses uh, in the valve become um, quite a lot as well so I'm still looking into that but our biggest improvement is going to be there um, and I know of another improvement I can do is the spear valve um, is sitting too low because all of these I had to move up on their slot but the spear valve doesn't have a slot because of its uh, motor mount on there um, so once I take it apart I'm going to move that up to about 5 mil low there's about 5 or 10 watts there as well so there's still things to do um, but yeah, we'll get into the point where there's not a huge amount left I can do with this to improve it. Um, yeah, I thought I'd just do one more thing. Uh, we'll take a reading of what we're uh, producing and I'm going to tape up the fan and we'll see how much the fan uses. Okay, so we're currently running at 320, 322, 325. Okay, so now I'm going to go and tape up the fan and we'll see how much the fan uses. Right, so I'm gonna just um, put tape around the fan to um, to stop it being able to pull air in. Um, so we can see how much the fan uses. I don't think it's that much. Um, I reckon 15 or 20 watts. Obviously it won't be a perfect test, but it should give us a pretty good idea what the loss is involved here. If it was upwards of, of 50 watts then I might think about doing something to change it. But um but I think it's probably just gonna be a pretty acceptable loss to be honest with you. Because not only does it cool the turbine it also dehumidifies the area around it and the, and the coils and stuff. So I'll tape that up and we'll see what we what Right so tape to the fan up There'll still be some air resistance from the bits of tape, but no air can get in from the sides or on the top, so that should um, should be pretty sufficient to give it to the test. So let's go and see what we get now. And there we go, there's with the fan taped up. Really not very much at all, few watts fan uses. Um, the reason it doesn't use that much is it's not actually spinning that fast on my turbine. Um, obviously if, it, if I had a higher RPM the losses would go up because wind is squared with velocity so if I doubled the RPM that figure would uh, quadruple um, but yeah you can see it doesn't make a huge amount of difference to the fan there's not much point in uh, in worrying about the fan there it is running with the uh, tape on it and there's no air moving through that I can feel there's no air like I say it really doesn't make much difference at all so I'm going to take that off now and uh, we won't worry about the fan. Right, let's just uh, start this back up. There we go, this is running again. So there we go, it's going to be the end of this video. I hope it's been alright, it's just a tuning video. Messing with it, we're learning. Um, those things haven't made much difference because there's um, bottlenecks and other things in other places which is down here somewhere um, but it's all learning and I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it because it means when I come to make these and sell them I'm going to have a deep understanding of what's going on and that's important to me um, yeah so Joe if you're watching this 
don't mess with your fan you don't need to it doesn't use much power um, and yeah uh, ask any questions in the comments I try and uh, reply to the ones that, I th that are interesting and, and so on so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching